Hi there, how's it going team? Peter Malloy, Architect here, and I'm back with another Revit tutorial. On this tutorial, I'm going to be discussing how to create a view in Revit, Autodesk Revit, so I'm working off 2021 on this. Um, so in this model here, um, let's say you have your own model, you're maybe setting it up or you're actively within a model. An easy way of, of creating a new um, plan view on a level is come into your elevation view, just come up here to your copy, grab your level, come down, let's say, for the sake of example, to 100 here, and then there's a new associate level. Now, you'll note that the level head here is black, so that means not it's not an active view, or it won't pop up in your in your dialog here, like so. Um, so what I like to do is select it, come up to view, just come up to plan view here, in the floor plan, and then you'll note that the level 20, as level 20 is here, comes in here. So you just click OK on that, and you'll note that bang, a level 20 has come up here now on our property browser here. So that means that this plan is now active. And if I scoop back to my north elevation, you'll note that it's blue. So that's one way of creating a, um, a level in Revit. So we'll just go ahead and delete that. Um, and then another way is to come over to architecture, come into levels. Um, and just a quick note on the last way I've done it. It's, it's quite easy to copy it up because it just keeps all these um, these elevation um, markers on the same plane here and you've them all set up tidily like that. If you copy them up, um, bang, 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 and then just come up to the view tab and then up to your plan view, you can associate all those all the way up. So you just it just cleans it up and saves a little bit of time. Um, but another way to do it, if you want to just do it quickly, if you're just setting up a new project is to come into the levels up here through, so architecture levels, and then you can just place, you know, a new level wherever you want it there or whatever height you're at. And then you can change the level. You'll note that that one's created straight away with blue. So that means it's an associated level straight away. And then you can come in and click here, click here. And that you can change whatever level you need it to be. Um, so those are some quick tips and tricks on how to create levels in Revit. I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful. Um, if it is, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and videos every week. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one.